Some of the basic techniques you'll need to know when you go to carve this cuttlefish bone. Um, I don't use any particular special tools to do this. I got a golf tee here, a little bamboo chopstick, a couple screwdrivers, paintbrush you'll see is pretty nice here in a minute. So what I've done on here is I've taken this and I've drawn onto the cuttlefish bone some of the information that will be useful to you. One of the things I've done is drawn and created a little edge all the way around about a quarter to a half an inch all the way around and I just want to stay out of carving into that area because I don't want this molten metal to bust out those ends when it's uh, bound back together. So basically the concept is I'm going to take and I'm going to carve in a, a, a design and then I'm going to take these together and I'm going to pour metal in and then what will be left is my design. So the things I've drawn here are these outside edges to avoid and then here, these little uh, triangles are the funnel that we'll have to create. So that when we cut, when we put a design in here, we have to have an opening on the top that creates a funnel that goes down. So we need to have a big opening here that is tied to those pieces there. Those will come out and create a funnel that will come down to our actual piece. On this one, it's a very small funnel, but you can see there was a little funnel created so we could pour the molten metal in. So once you've removed that funnel, then you can start thinking about your design. This particular design, what I did was on one side, I did this rounded sort of flat part. And then on the other side, I did this sort of snowflake design. So I'll carve through this real quick to give you an idea of how I would go about it and give you some sort of uh, idea of how you want to go about it. So I'm just going to go in with this screwdriver and just start pulling this material away. Can't really see what I'm doing when I'm doing that from that angle. Nope, like this. I'm just kind of just pulling it away. It's not very hard to get the material out. The only thing you want to be careful about is breaking your breaking the whole bone, getting a crack through the whole bone. That's always a pain to try to pour that. So right now I'm just kind of working on creating this funnel. And as you can see, a screwdriver. I could use a golf tee, like I said before. Anything really works for taking this really soft material out. So I'll get the funnel on this side. And I've got a trash can down here. This is messy business. You might want to keep a trash can below where you're working. And I'll go ahead and get the funnel on this side. Just start right here. Start just scraping it away. And that should get me a pretty decent funnel started. So you can see here, that's plenty of space, big hole for me to pour the molten metal in uh, in our next class. So now that I got my funnel started, I want to think about <clears throat> my design and how I'm going to approach it. What I'm going to do on this one is I'm going to put like a circle on this side and then I'm going to try this same idea again and do a snowflake over here and try and get the whole thing to fit. So to get that circle in, first I'm just going to go in with a marker so I can get my basic shape how I want it. I'm not really going to do a circle, I'm going to do more like an oval, but I want it to be pretty big. I want to get this big space here, but I want it to be even. Something like that is what I want. So I'm going to remove all that and I'm going to do it like this where it's kind of domed when I remove that. And then on the other side, I'll carve my other design. So I'm going to go ahead and probably use the same screwdriver again and just start scraping the material away to start making my design. Now the void that I'm creating here Everything I'm pulling out is going to be filled back in with molten metal, then solidify and be solid bronze afterward. So let me get this going here. I'm just going to keep working this little shape here the way I want it. Working on a nice hard edge there, using that edge of that screwdriver to get a hard edge. There we go. I'm going to dome it out a little. And then one of the things you'll see as you're scraping is this really interesting cuddle bone texture. That's what people are after. You can see it's really clear on the back of this piece after it's been poured, that texture. So to emphasize that texture, if you really like it, let me get it smoothed out a little more before I do the next step. If you really like that texture and you want it to stand out, which most people do when they're doing a cuddle bone casting, you'll take a 
the paintbrush and what you can do is you can wipe away the really loose material because it's so soft and it, the harder more material the harder materials stay behind and it'll really start to emphasize that texture even more so so I'm gonna work on that a little more I really like that it's a nice deep texture now on the other side, I'm going to put a different design. I'm going to try to center something in that. And to do that, I think I'm going to use this smaller screwdriver and just start working. I'm going to do a snowflake. I'll go straight line here. Get that one out of the way. And I'll do a straight line here. Got a little deeper there than I wanted. So I'm going to get everybody a little deeper. And then I'll put one here, put one here, put one here, put one here. And then I'm gonna put a little round thing on the end of each one. All right, I think I like that. So I'm keeping my design pretty simple on this because I want it to come out really cool. So that's my goal here. So I'm gonna take it now and I'm gonna look at it and sort of line them up and make sure everything's looking like I want it to. And now I'm all smooth, I've got everything carved out. The next step is just to bind it together with some wire and cast it. So pretty cool, see I got a nice opening to pour my metal into. It's ready to go.